Hey everybody, it's Lisa from SoundArtsOnline.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Simplify Extend theme by D5 Creation. Simplify Extend is a responsive web design. Basically this means that the design adapts to different browser sizes so that instead of needing a separate mobile site or mobile plugin, the content will be resized and rearranged to fit smaller screens. Simplify Extend is a WordPress theme, and it's completely customizable. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Simplify Extend theme website that looks like a website instead of a blog site. Although, you can certainly create a blog site using Simplify Extend if you prefer. On the front page of the Simplify Extend theme, you have a logo, your heading, description, slider, and as we scroll down the page, you can place featured boxes with hyperlinks, along with descriptions for each box. You can upload photos or JPEGs of logos as they do here. Then you can also list partners here and quotes. And down at the bottom here, we have very nice little animated links for social media that I happen to like a lot. So to customize the slider, we'll take the following steps. We're going to go to the dashboard, go to the upper left hand corner here. So get to the dashboard that way. I'm going to go to Appearance and Simplify Options. Here we're going to choose Slider. Here you can decide whether you'd like this 3D slide or the JavaScript based Zipper, Curtain, or Wave slide. In order to get the 3D slider to show your images, there are a few extra steps you'll have to take, and I'll be teaching that to you in this tutorial. You want to make sure that your slides are in the same proportion of pixels here. What's recommended is 930 by 350 pixels. There are a number of settings you can customize. We'll leave the settings as they are, but you can always change them as you'd like. There are quite a few parameters you can adjust. And make sure you have your images for the slider uploaded to the media library. And all images should have the same pixel proportions. Once you have your media library set up with the pictures that you want to use for your slider, you're ready to get started here. So we're on sliding image one. We're going to remove the image that's there and click on upload. And this is where you're going to select your image for the slider. Click on that. And here you can fill in the URL the title, caption, alt text, and description. All of these things are very important for search engine optimization. So here's our first image. Let's take a look at what happens. If we're just going to save what's here, we're just going to scroll on down the page here and click on Save Options. I'm going back to visit site here to see what it looks like. And as you can see, the first picture is not the one that I just put in. Before I show you how to unravel this little mystery, I'm going to briefly explain how to link your new image to another page on your site. So let's go back to simplify options and the slider. Here we are. going to go to Pages. We have the Happy People page. This is our link to the page. We're going to take this link, copy, let's go back to our slider, Simplify Options. Here's how we're going to link the image on the slider using the permalink we just copied. 
Pasting the permalink will link the image to that page. You can click on it and it'll take us to the Happy People page or any other page you want it to go to. Now we're going to explain how to save your 3D slider customizations. As promised, what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom of the page and we're going to take this red code and we're going to simply copy it over to the 3D slide PHP file. Click on the 3D slide.php file. We're going to take this out, delete it. We're going to paste what we just copied, and then we're just going to update the file. Just click here. Now let's go back to the site's front page and see if our slide is there, the change that we made to the slider. Yes, it is. Here's our first slide. And we're going to click on link and it should bring us to the happy people page. There we go, happy people. Now you might be asking yourself, why does the happy people page have all of this on the right hand side? And I don't want recent posts, comments, archives, categories. How can we get rid of that? So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Go to our dashboard pages. Happy people. We're going to edit the happy people page. We're going to go down here to the template and we want full width update. See how easy that is? Preview changes and voila! No more sidebar, no more post information, nothing. So the appearance looks like a website instead of a blog site.